Day in 1981 was dedicated by the UN uh, uh, General Assembly to be a day dedicated annually to global peace, ceasefire, and nonviolence. And this is what we're celebrating today with a group of wonderful people from uh, Heartfelt Meditation, Sacred Circle Dancers, and Saanich International Folk Dancers. So please, everybody, just come and enjoy and celebrate with us. And I'm going to hand over to Will to begin with a piece of music. Thank you, Penny. You know, every time I come to this planet, you got to know new rules. You got to do this, you can't do that. Now they're trying to make us kill each other again. But this time we're not going to do it. So anyway, so I found out there's no law anywhere on this planet that says we can't make a new world. That's right, so we're going to make a new world. And if you know your quantum physics, you know that this world is really just music and dance. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to sing a song and dance. This is how the song goes. We're going to start right here in Vancouver Island in Canada. I'm so happy here. Let's dance together right see. Okay, we're just going to bring it 
over to the New World now, to South America. In Spanish. Esto es la Melissa que baila con ustedes. Bailemos juntos para ver lo que se puede hacer para crear un nuevo mundo, crear un nuevo mundo, crear un nuevo mundo para crear un nuevo mundo. Danza, danza, danza en la tierra. Danza en la tierra. Danza en la tierra. Yeah. All right, we're going to finish up here, coming up through the United States and back to Canada in English. I'm so happy here to dance with you. Let's dance together and see what we can do to make a new world, to make a new world, to make a new world, to make a new world. Dance, dance, dance upon the earth. Dance, dance upon the earth. I know it doesn't seem like that's going to do anything, but that's going to start a vibe. And then we circled the whole globe, so it's going to stick. So thanks for your time. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon here. Happy International oh, Day of Peace. And Will brought us Seven. through the around the world. And now Seven. I would like yeah. to read oh, something Seven about Eagles. unity. Oh, True unity of human beings can only come through the heart. And that unity of the heart can only come by the recognition of the innermost self, which is divine, seated there. Your self is no different from myself, is not different from anybody else's self here. With this recognition of the essence of the self, which is universal, which is in all things. Not only do we become members of one human race, but we also learn to ident identify ourselves with every form of existence on earth, whether it be stone, whether it would be tree, bird, animal. It doesn't matter because that same self is in the heart of that. Two. Thank you, Petra. That was a beautiful poem to unite us all in this special day of peace here. Please come all, come everybody that would like to join us in this celebration. The UN each year has a theme for this day of peace, and the theme this year is the right to peace. It is actually the 70th year since the inception of the Universal Declaration of Rights. So it's a very auspicious time to consider the right to peace. My name is Penny Joy. I've been involved for many years in an enterprise to help create a Department of Peace in Canada. There are many countries around the world that are trying also to do this. A couple of them have succeeded, such as Costa Rica and Nepal. Canada as yet has not. However, at this moment we're quite excited because there is a proposal going through Parliament for an ambassador for women, peace and security. And we're quite hopeful that this will be in place by next spring. We have confidence that it will deal with peace domestic and internationally because of course both are needed and peaceful energy and projects and undertakings are so critical in this particular time of turmoil in the world uh, where we're dealing not only with things like climate change but international crime and huge suffering of people in different parts of the world this is the time we are the people and we have the confidence that we're being called to stand up for human rights in the name of peace for all. And we citizens of this beautiful corner of the world are so very lucky. We have so much to be grateful for, so much to be aware of, and so much to be called to do from this place of peace that we are lucky enough to live in here. 
Now, uh, many of you probably have seen a peace pole before. Here it stands in the center. This peace pole initially was created uh, to commemorate the uh, suffering in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And now there is over 100,000 poles in different significant places around the world. On it, it has, a uh, it has a prayer, a very simple but very powerful statement and prayer. May peace prevail on earth. The intent of the originator was that it would go around the world and this prayer would be spoken in every language of the globe. Will gave us a wonderful introduction with his quick whiz around the world. And um, on, on our poll, we have the prayer in English and in, Fran and in French. What we like to invite people to do is to come forward if they feel so inclined and they have a country that they identify with and a language that they speak, say their name, say the country that they're from, and say, may peace prevail on earth in their language. Then we who are audience here can say back, may peace prevail in whatever country has been identified. So, I invite anybody and everybody who feels so inclined to come forward and join with this very special statement and prayer in our gathering this afternoon. Who's gonna come first? Petra, excellent. My name is Petra and I'm uh, from Germany. And uh, I will say that in German. Lass Friede auf Erden sein. May peace prevail in Germany. Oh, oh, welcome. You have to put it quite close to your mouth. I'm from Pakistan and I will say in Urdu Allah kare ke humare bulk mein aur puri dunia mein hamisha aman rahe May peace prevail in Pakistan Nana from former Yugoslavia Just wanted to say that I found this card It is in the memory of Hiroshima and Nagasaki It says peace and love So maybe you can put over there um, In Zerbo Croatian like Mir Vlada Ubisha Yugoslavia. So may peace prevail in former Yugoslavia. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have anyone else you'd like to join us? Sure, I'll do it. Okay. My name's Will Smith and I'm from the United States. And uh, we say, may peace prevail on earth. <laughs> may peace prevail on earth. In the United States. <laughs> so I'm Rajan. I'm here to. I'm inspired to do it as a human being. So allow me to say, Oh, may peace prevail within us. Que la paix règne sur la terre. Oui. Encore. Oui. Que la paix règne sur la terre. Peace prevail on earth. Hi, my name is Edie. I'm from England. So may peace prevail on earth. May peace prevail in England. Thank you. I'm breaking the pattern a little bit here, but we just welcomed the family from Iraq. And so I would like to pray, may peace prevail in Iraq. May peace prevail in Iraq. If we can do that, then I will go back. I work in school, uh, Midwest Elementary School, and we have uh, quite a few families from Syria. Just, uh, it was so cute. The, the, the twins from grade one don't speak any English, Arabic, and telling me something, so May peace prevail in Syria. May peace, May peace prevail, prevail in Syria. Syria. This is an invitation for anybody who would like to come up here and say, May peace prevail on earth in their own language. We would like to invite you 
to celebrate with us the International Day of Peace, which is today, and the sun is shining. Anybody else? Okay, Petra, the I'll hand over. Okay. Yeah. 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 Hello, I'm from the Heartfulness Meditation. So for us is how can we create peace? We can create peace only individually from the inside. So our teacher, one of our teacher, Babuji Zahavash, he told us to sit every day at 9 o'clock in the evening and do a an universal prayer, which we go into our heart and we connect with our inner self and with the divine and just imagine that we are all brothers and sisters and that we are all connected and uh, that we are one. So we, ho we hold the thought for about a minute now. We'd like to do a silent prayer that we are all brothers and sisters and that we are all connected through the world. So if you can join me for silent prayer through brotherhood right now for one minute. Thank you.